What's up everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Ross McFarlane coming to you from Agency 3980 and in this video what I'm going to be doing is giving you a first look and introductory video into the native advertising platform called Outbrain. Outbrain being one of the biggest uh, ad exchanges out there. So I'm going to take a look. We'll see what we've got to offer on the homepage. We'll be looking for the bidding model, what type of traffic, what type of publishers that they have. And also we'll be looking at the pros and cons of Outbrain and why it would be a good idea or not a good idea to run your native ads campaigns on Outbrain. So before we dive straight in, just in case you don't know, Let's quickly dive in and see what actually a native ad is, just uh, in case you don't know what a native ad is. So a native ad is what we're doing is we're buying traffic from places like Outbrain and we're placing ads on websites like Yahoo and all these different websites and stuff that offer these types of ads. And what, what the ads are is they're designed to blend in with the website. So we could be scrolling through here as a user and just looking down here, just see this little bit here that says ad. And then also, keep coming down then we can see ad and then if we keep scrolling down ad here's one that's promoting solar panels so a solar panel offer and then if we keep scrolling down we'll see ad and these images and these ads are all designed to blend in to the actual website itself so they're really really powerful because that means that the affiliate or the marketer or any company that's doing a brand awareness uh, campaign or anything like that can run ads and actually kind of use the authority of this website. So it's a really, really powerful thing. Like here's one here, like just a quick one for a toothbrush. So I'd imagine this is like um, using some offer to uh, enhance your toothbrush, which looks pretty cool. And yeah, as you can see, this just takes you through to like an advertorial type pre-lander, which has got a lot of information here. And then I would assume this has got like something to take you through to an offer page. Um, down the bottom once you've done the pre-sale. That's why native ads can be so powerful because what you're doing is you're taking, yeah, here we go here, here's the offer through to the offer page, the, the, the link through to the offer page. And that's why native ads can be so powerful because we're taking cold traffic into warm traffic on the pre-lander and then the red hot buyers, once they've read the advertorial and once they've read um, the story. So that's why uh, native ads can be so, so powerful. So. Now we know what a native ad is, let's see what Outbrain has to offer. Now we're on their homepage here and we'll see, let's see what type of placements or which type of traffic that they have. We wanna see what type of traffic that they have. So here we go here, here's a list of some of the publishers that, that they have, which has got CNN, MSN, uh, the Washington Post, Sky News. So absolutely humongous websites. So they have absolutely got a ton of traffic. Um, uh, one con that I would say about running with Outbrain is that um, your ads, your creatives and stuff will have to be on point um, because when running on sites like these, these will have a really high compliance. So like just make sure if you ever do run your ads on uh, Outbrain that the your compliance is, is spot on um, because uh, to get on these huge sites, their compliance will be quite strict compared to other ad exchanges but might not be that great. Um, so here we go here, we can see how much traffic that they have to offer, how many countries that they run in. Um, and showing you here that it's five times more higher visibility than banner ads, which banner ads is a completely different thing. Similar to native, but banner. Um, and create your ad, tell people about your offer, text them, yep, yeah, okay, basic creative stuff, that's awesome here. And reach people, 30 plus targeting options. Demographics, okay, so this is a cool one here, interest targeting. So this is similar to Facebook then, this is a good thing to see. So um, this has given me the option here on Outbrain to target on um, interest, which is similar to Facebook, which is awesome. I've, uh, that's the uh, first time I've came across that there. That's awesome. That's a, a really good pro for um, for Outbrain. So I would one thing I would say is this is a more advanced um, advertising platform um, with Outbrain with these publishers. Just getting a feel for these, just seeing these publishers, it's just screaming at me here to say that this is a little bit more advanced. Um, but that's cool, totally fine. We can dive straight into the back office and see what their back office looks like, their dashboard, and see how their campaign setup and stuff is. So I've got the back office open here. I just logged into them just before this video, just got signed up. And we'll see what we've got. We've got lots of different options here. So this will be the active campaigns running. We've got our 
conversions, track conversions, audiences, so what is this? It's now dynamic retargeting, could be powerful depending on what type of ads you're running. Schedule reports, real-time data, Amplify Labs will just move me out of the way for two seconds. What have we got here? We've got account settings, obviously that's just an end payments. Cool, so let's move on, see if we can, see if we can add campaign. And let's see what the campaign setup structure looks like. So we want to start over. Cool. So campaign name is just going to be test. Test. And then campaign objective. So we're we doing brand awareness. Are we driving traffic, app installs, or conversions? So us as native advertisers, we'd be driving traffic. Creative format. So this is our ad creative. It would be telling us here what type of ad creative we'd we want to do. So they've got this carousel feature here, which is cool. Something here, which is uh, in beta testing I've never seen before, instant. Um, but we would just be going usually on native just for a standard ad. So the placement is our desktop. So it's giving us device type targeting here, which is cool. Budget as a CPC bidding model, which is great, which is one of the things that we want to know when we're signing up to a direct traffic source is what type of traffic they offer, what type of verticals that, that's specified to that um, ad exchange, and also the bidding model. Is it CPM? Is it CPC? Is it CPA? So we can see here that this is a CPC model, which means that we're only paying for the clicks on the image. We're not actually paying for the impressions that they're giving us. So budget type here is um, daily, learn more, you can actually spend more, 20% higher. So day, you could spend, oh, so you can set your campaigns on a campaign entirety, or you can spend it through the month, or you can go on a daily budget of 50 per day, um, which is suggested here. And then I don't want to click on that because I'll take me through away. So let's see, what's the lowest amount? Lowest amount I can spend is $20 a day, which is 20 pounds per day, which is quite cool. That's quite low. If you're on a low budget, schedule. So this will be time scheduling where you can schedule your uh, campaign from uh, different times. Like you may be running like uh, a campaign where you want to run different times or later down the line when you've read your data in your tracker, you might see that your campaign's only converting at a certain amount of hours throughout the day. So you're just wasting money on the rest and you just want to start running it at certain times. Uh, target location. So this will obviously be the, um, the location. Let's go with United. Oh. United States, cool, add them in there. Advanced audience targeting. So this is the part that we see on the homepage, which I thought was pretty cool. So people who match at least one of the following, oh, I really like this. This is, oh, yeah, I really like this. This is really cool. So this would be perfect if we were doing, like, say we were running a neutral offer, we could go and target, oh, this is this is awesome. I really, really like this about Outbrain. This is perfect. So I could literally pick sites that are based on, like, for example, if you were running a skincare offer, uh, I would want to obviously select that there, and then that would be, uh, that would be like an audience targeting thing, which is which is cool. That's a great feature. So definitely a pro there for um, for Outbrain on that one, uh, which is awesome. Um, high impact here, uh, run run and high impact placements. So I would imagine that would be running on. Um, this would be for premium sites. So like we've seen on the homepage, like CNN, uh, Sky News, and stuff. Probably going to have to pay higher. Uh, for for on to get on those sites because that's um um more com competition and oh you could even run on MSN direct directly here um if you're running on Outbrain which is cool traffic traffic uh suffix that will just be your tracking and stuff cool let's see if we can just go through to the next content so create your content this is creating your creative so this will be your landing page URL or your campaign URL if you're running through a tracker your site name. That would just be whatever you're, you're using. What did I say I was using there? Skincare. So this could be skin, trend and skin news, trend and skin news. So that would just be that. Enter a title here. So cool. So this will be your um, description. So you can paste in your description there and then add in your creative. And then you can go ahead and launch campaign. So... Yeah, I was really, really impressed with Outbrain. Um, they are a lot designed for the ad advanced, I would say, especially with these uh, sites that they offer here on uh, these ones. It's just looking here and it's just saying, telling me that this would be for a little bit more advanced native advertising, um, which is cool. 
um, uh, totally fine. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button. If you do want to see more content like this, which is specifically talking about native ads, make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you get notified each and every time that we post the video. We are always posting videos within the agency on specifically native advertising. If you do want to know more about us, what our agency offers, because we do coaching programs, consulting programs, all the way from beginner affiliate marketer wanting to run native ads, all the way up to very advanced uh, business owners who are spending anything from over 100k per month. We can cater from everyone's needs. So if you did like the video, make sure to go ahead and give me a little like. Really, really appreciate it. Other than that, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.